Alright yo, this is Benny Jr. I'm gonna show you real quick on uh how to use a cool edit pro just to record on it, you know what I mean the way I use it. Just real basic tips. Um first you go right here on the first track, right click, um first one says insert and then sc uh scroll down away from file. Once you go in there, uh just find where your uh basically where your beats are and uh you find one of your beats um so put a beat on real quick once you find a beat uh double click on there and the beat will come up most amount of mp3 once you bring up the beat, uh, right before you record, some people might have a, uh, if you have a computer mic, you might want to find your volume controls. Once you find your volume controls, go to options, property, recording, okay, and make sure the microphone got a check mark beside it. If you're not using, if you're using a USB, uh, on the second track, just hit record, find your USB, whatever one it is, click OK, and then click on that, then click OK. Um, once you record, hit record on this one, on the second track, that red button right here. I know it's hard to see, I'm going to zoom in for a minute. Right there, hit the red button to record, and then... There's a record button down here. Hit the record button down here. And then it'll start recording. Um, what you want to record on the second track? I mean the uh, the third track, but it'll be your second recording. That's if you double up your vocals. Uh, take this record off on the second track. And uh, hit record on the third track right here, and hit the record at the bottom again. And then you'll hear recording again. Uh, some people like to double up the vocals and then uh, hit tape record off of this, and record right here. On the third track, and then that's when you do your uh, your ad libs. A lot of people like to do ad libs. Some people double them up. Some people just use one ad lib. Uh, then do the same thing and just hit record. right there see uh say if you don't like the track you just right click on the track and then just put destroy block and put now for the save it unless you think about keeping it you just hit remove it then you can grab it later from over here on this side but if you don't see your waves moving most likely it's not recording so like on this one the first one once you hit record up here on the second track, never hit record on the first track because you record over your beats, so never hit record over there. But uh, if I'm going too fast, just rewind it, this is what I said, and then just pause it and try it. But once you hit record, you start talking over, you see your waves getting bigger. Once you start talking into the microphone, stop that, hit the play button. You start talking over, you see your waves getting bigger. Once you start talking into the microphone, you hear it right there. Um, Take the record off. Uh, you can always hit the the green button. That's the mute button. So you hit mute. It'll just play one to uh, I'll play all the other tracks, but that one. If you want to just hear one track and under the other ones, you just hit the S button. That's the yellow one. And they'll mute every track but that one. Uh, well, basically that's the basics. Uh, some people might get stuck. Like if you double click right here, 
I'll go into this big screen. There's right below the file. There's a button right here. You just click on that. I'll take you back. Click on that. I'll take you back into the one that's highlighted. And uh, some people like to highlight. Double click to highlight the whole thing, or just grab it. Click right there. Left click and uh, click on effects. Uh, delay effects and go like chorus and hit up like this is this is the acoustic duet you hit preview you over, you and you can hit effects and you just hit preview to hear the effects and you want to add effects to your music to your vocals that's how you do it um, same way when you record if you want to make beats on here and uh, you want each individual sound to be on its own track so you can get it mastered you do the same thing I don't know uh, if, you, if you're hooking it up to a multi-track or you're recording straight from the microphone or if you got one of the multi-track microphones but basically it's the same thing so that's basically your basics of how you make a track um, usually you know what I mean you do your 16 then your hook and then you come back save your Next 16 is right here. You click over here and then hit your record button and then hit record again. Start recording from over there. You can also grab this little piece over here and make the arrow. Your uh, The arrow will split into two. It'll be up and down and you can scroll it down like that and stretch out your tracks or you can just scroll down like this and get your tracks. So that's basically the basics right there.